Xanax has a half-life of about 11 hours in the bloodstream. So we're going to create an exponential model um, to make predictions about how much of the drug is in a person's body T hours after they take some initial amount, we'll call A naught. Um, we know that after 11 hours, the amount will be A naught over 2. So that's the equation that we'll start with. Divide both sides by A naught to get a constant equals a base raised to an exponent. We want to solve for the base, so we're going to take the 11th root of both sides, raise both sides to the 1 over 11th power. And then to solve for r, we'll add r to both sides and subtract the 1 over 2 to the 1 over 11th power. So that is the rate. Um, if I don't have a calculator on me, then that's what I'm going to use to plug into my model. Since I have 1 minus that, I'm going to get a 1 minus 1, which will go away. I'm emphasizing it here in brackets, um, what we're getting, what we got for R. But in the next step, when you distribute that negative 1, you'll get a 1 minus 1, which will go away. And then you get a minus 1 times negative one half so negative times negative gives you a positive one half to the one over eleven all that is raised to the t power um, so if we want we could change this one half raised to a power and all of that raised to another power just means multiply the exponents so one over eleven times t over one multiply straight across you could write that as t over eleven Now, if somebody ingests 10 milligrams of Xanax, how long will it take for them to only have two milligrams left in their bloodstream? We're just gonna use the model that we just created. And we're gonna plug in A naught equals 10. And then our final amount should be two. So we plug that into the model and try to solve for T. Since t is in the exponent, I'm going to use an algorithm for an exponential equation. Divide both sides by 10 so that it says a constant equals a base raised to the exponent. Take the natural log on both sides after that. 2 tenths is 1 fifth. Um, all right, I didn't do exactly what I said. Instead of doing what I said, I raised both sides to the 11th power. Um, that step clears up the exponent on the right a little bit. So I get this a little bit more clean equation to work with. Then if I take the natural log from there and bring the exponent down using the, the logarithm property, this is what I get. And I can solve for t by dividing both sides by natural log of 1 half. We can approximate this using a calculator. I punched this into Wolfram Alpha, a good calculator online that's free, and I got 25 and a half hours. So that's how long it would take for this patient's Xanax in their bloodstream to go from 10 milligrams down to two milligrams. You can imagine this could be pretty useful for um, doctors and nurses to know this kind of thing. Now we're going to write the model using the exponential equation where we use an e for the base. We start out the same way. We know that the half-life is 11. So after 11 hours, the amount a will be a naught over 2. I want to clean the equation up so I can take the natural log of both sides. So I'll divide both sides by a naught. On the left, that gives me one half. 
on the right, just e to the negative 11k. Take the natural log of both sides, and on the right, when I take the natural log, it's just going to come out to give me the exponent. Natural log of e raised to an exponent just gives you the exponent. So we get natural log of 1 half is negative 11k. And then we're just going to solve for k by dividing both sides by negative 11. So it kind of looks like k is a negative number here, but it's actually a positive, even though there's a negative sign on the left. So now we just go back and fill in what k was. Since we got two negatives multiplied together, that gives us a positive 1 over 11 natural log of 1 half. And that value is a negative number. Natural log of 1 half is a negative number. So that's the exponent. In part D, we're answering the same question we answered in part B. How long will it take for a patient who took 10 milligrams of Xanax to only have two milligrams left in their blood? So plug in two for the A and 10 for the initial amount, A naught. Divide both sides by 10. Take the natural log of both sides. We know 2 over 10 is 1 over 5. So I've got natural log of 1 over 5. On the right, when I take the natural log, I'm just going to get that big exponent left. Remember, you can think of this in two ways. Natural log of e to a power is just the power because log base e of e to anything is just that anything. Or you can use the um, exponent property where you bring down the exponent for a logarithm in front and you know natural log of e is 1. Multiply both sides by 11 to get rid of the 1 over 11 and then divide both sides by natural log of 1 half. And this answer that we get is actually exactly the same answer that we got in part B. So if I write down an, um, an approximation for it, again, it's going to come out to 25 and a half hours, which gives me the amount of time it will take for that drug to reduce to 2 milligrams in the bloodstream.